Let's begin this bulletin with some good news. 151 Indian fishermen who had been arrested by Pakistani authorities for stringing across the maritime boundary are finally on their way home. The men were released as a goodwill gesture by Nawaz Sharif after he was invited by Narendra Modi to the latter's swearing in. They crossed over into Indian territory at the Waga border crossing. Kamaljeet Sandhu joins us live for more on this uh, story. Uh, Kamaljeet, uh, we had heard of this uh, release uh, a day earlier. Nawaz Sharif uh, had announced he would release these prisoners uh, into, Indian, uh, into Indian custody effectively. Uh, and uh, perhaps uh, most interestingly, many of them from, uh, this, uh, from around Gujarat. Well, definitely so. It's a good start. It's a perfect photo opportunity, a goodwill gesture by Pakistan. But remember, this is a routine matter. India and Pakistan often do arrest these fishermen and they're released from time to time. But this is obviously coming as a goodwill gesture from Pakistan before the Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif arrives tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, we believe he's not meeting uh, the Hurriyat leaders. That's another gesture. But remember, uh, Pakistan has been trying to reach out to, uh, to, to uh, Narendra Modi uh, first Nawaz Sharif had telephoned Narendra Modi asking him to visit Pakistan uh, on his first state visit. Uh, the other being that Modi did reciprocate by inviting him and other heads of state of SAR countries uh, for the oath taking ceremony. So the many first at this point of time, but obviously it's making for a good photo opportunity. There's a bilateral meeting on the 27th, but will they go, go beyond the photo opportunity? Will the hearts meet? Will the people be able to meet? We know there's been tracked to all this while uh, when India and Pakistan leadership wasn't talking but there's little headway as far as 26-11 trial is concerned. Uh, Pakistan has been talking about the Samjhata blast and, and its expectations uh, from, uh, from, from the Indian investigators, but very little has happened uh, till now. Kamaljeet, many thanks uh, for that update out there from Delhi. So those, uh, Kamaljeet uh, also happened to have sent us a report from just where she is, in fact very close to where she is. Remember Rashtrapati Bhavan is the scene of tomorrow's swearing in ceremony. Kamaljeet was inside Rashtrapati Bhavan at the forecourt and she sent us these images of preparations for the ceremony. She followed that up with a report. Well, the stage is all set and behind me is the same very set where Narendra Modi and Pranam Mukherjee are going to stand and the oath-taking ceremony will take place. Unprecedented arrangements being done and obviously you can see a lot of cleaning up, a lot of new chairs have been put in place and obviously massive arrangement for cooling the guests who will arrive way before the function begins at around 4.35. Uh, there is a media stand. We also know there is a stand for refreshment. Most people will come inside and perhaps have meal or snacks, as we say, inside the bar hall. But at this point of time, this is that particular place where in the backdrop of Rashtrapati Bhavan, this massive uh, oath-taking ceremony where heads of state of SARC as well as VVIPs, which includes uh, Bollywood actors as well as politicians, all will be here but definitely this is going to be one event to watch out for and obviously the stage has been set and most people are obviously have their eyes on this very set itself with camera person Manish this Kamaljeet Sandhu in Delhi for headlines today. We are at the president's forlorn where Narendra Modi is to swear in and massive arrangement done out here and obviously you can see the number of guests and obviously fans made here kept here just to cool down the guests. Uh, this is going to be obviously at 6 o'clock, but the guests are going to arrive much earlier. A massive security deployment being done, but definitely this is going to be one gala event uh, with massive security arrangement. The guests were supposed to be 3,000, and now that list has been extended up to more than 5,000. Obviously, the head of SARC states are going to be present here, including Nawaz Sharif, Hamid Karzai, Mahinda Rajapakse. But definitely, this is going to be one gala event the country is going to be watching out for.